Hello guys, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to see how to fix Ctrl C is not working in a Windows 10 PC or laptop. It is a very easy and simple problem and I give the multiple solution to fix this problem. So let's go to our first solution. First and simplest solution is just restart your PC, just go to the start and just go to the your power and just restart your PC and it's fixed your issue. Just restart your PC and it's fixed your issue. If this method is not work for you, then second method is also very simple. Just check your physical keyboard or keys are working properly. There is no problem with the, your C key or the control key on your keyboard. Just attach your another keyboard, just attach any USB keyboard or any other keyboard to your PC or laptop and check your keyboard is working properly. This is our second method and third method. Third method is also very simple, enable the control C. Okay, that is very easy and simple. Just go to start and just type CMD. Just type CMD, right click on the command prompt and click on the run as an administrator. Click on run as an administrator. Click on the yes. Here, just go to the center. I just make it center. Here, just go to this bar, white bar, right click on it and just go to the properties. In properties, just check enable control key shortcut. It is like this, then check it or check this mark and just click on the okay, enable the control key shortcuts, okay? And just click on okay and just close it and restart your machine and your problem is solved. If these three methods are not work for you, then I give the another two methods to fix this problem, okay? The first method is just go to the start, right click on the start, here we find our device manager, just click on the device manager, make it center. Here we find our keyboard, just expand keyboards. Here we find your keyboard, just click on the your keyboard. Here we find many things, just click on the your keyboard, right click on it and just go to the update drivers. Here just go with the search automatically for drivers. It search your drivers on the net and if it's fine, appropriate drivers that it is automatically installed on your PC. Just click at here and if it's fine any direct then install it. In my case, it is not find me a driver. So I just go to the back. It is showing me message the best drivers for your device are already installed. Okay, so I just go to the back. The next method is just go to the browse my computer for drivers. If it's available on the your PC, then just go to the here or on your CD, then just go to the browse. If it's not available on the your CD or the PC, then just click on let me pick up. Here, click on the your keyboard and click on the next and it is install your keyboard and just click on the close. If you want to restart, then just click on the restart. I don't want to restart. I want to give another meter. So I just click on the no and just restart your machine and your problem must be solved. If this method is also not work for you, then I give the another method. Another method is also very simple. Just go to the start, just go to the start, right click on the start. Here we find device manager, click on the device manager. Here expand the keyboard, just go to the keyboard, expand keyboards, go to the your keyboard, right click on it and uninstall it. Uninstall this device and restart your machine. After restart, your drivers are automatically installed by your Windows operating system. That is the our solution. So I just click on the uninstall, uninstall drivers, uninstall it, click on the yes. Now it's automatically restart my machine. Click on S and automatically restart your machine. After restart, our drivers are automatically installed. Now I just go to the start and just type anything. Okay, now I click on the notepad and type my and just select all and copy it or control C just go to the here and control C and just paste it here at here and my control C is working on my keyboard. So guys, this is the simplest way to fix control C is not working in Windows 10 PC or laptop. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you guys.